Hello Tangerines from Now Jade, an all-inclusive resort in the Riviera Maya. We've actually been making videos about our life here in Mexico for two and a half years, so please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this one about Mexico. It was pretty easy for us to get here because we live right down the road in Puerto Morelos, so we drove the tangerine machine about 15 minutes. If you're like most people though, you'll be flying into the Cancun International Airport. We recommend booking private transportation ahead of time to avoid getting price gouged by the scammy taxi drivers at the airport. It's happened to us. It takes about 30 minutes to arrive in Puerto Morelos and will cost approximately 70 to 90 US dollars round trip for your entire group. When we arrived at the resort, they had valet parking. Where are you guys? Gracias. Una toalla, toallita húmeda antibacterial. And after sanitizing our feet and hands. Wow, gracias. Salud! Diego, no! <laughs> we go to a temperature scanner where it makes sure we're not running a fever and now we have to fill out a health questionnaire saying that we're healthy and we haven't been in contact with coronavirus and where we've traveled in the last two weeks and things like that. Oh, it is! Gracias. Well, we just finished checking in in the preferred lounge and now we're heading to I don't actually know where. So we arrived in the morning and that was about four hours before check-in, so our rooms weren't ready yet. This honestly seemed kind of odd since the resort is at such low capacity, but we later found out it was because they had some special surprises in store for us. The timing worked out nicely though because that gave us the chance to poke around the property a little bit before the hottest time of day. Some resorts are absolutely enormous and require a golf cart to move around. While still fairly large with more than 500 rooms, this resort is small enough that it only takes a few minutes to walk from one end to the other. We stood outside the lobby for quite a while staring at the gorgeous Caribbean. The colors are seriously so mesmerizing. Then we found our way over to the family friendly pool area. This pool is absolutely giant with like four or five pools connected together. Of course, we also had to check out the pool bar and they happened to be whipping up this psychedelic looking drink. I've never seen anything like it before. Anyway, before we knew it, our room was ready. So we just got into our room at Now Jade. I'm really excited for this. Now Jade invited us to stay here for a couple of nights, so I think this is gonna be a pretty awesome time. I've never been so excited to show anyone a room ever in my entire life of going <laughs> to rooms anywhere because this is so amazing. First of all, here's our luggage, and they all have stickers on them that say, this item has been sanitized. So they have disinfected all of our luggage for COVID precautions. Come in here, we've got a little setup here with a coffee maker, a, a few bottles of alcohol and some snacks. I'm pretty sure all of this is included since it's an all-inclusive. Here's the living room area. And then coming over here, it says, welcome home, tangerine. Very cool, with some strawberries covered in chocolate, oh my gosh. These strawberries are delicious. Mm. They're gonna have a hard time kicking us out of this place. And then we've got a little welcome card here, which if you notice, a very special sticker that they put on there! Here's a living room area. From another angle, we have a little bit more seating here, and then there's like kind of the self-serve station and the door to come in. Over here, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Bienvenidos a Casa Tangerine. Welcome to the Tangerine House, Tangerine Travels. Ah, this is the coolest thing ever. So this, I'm pretty sure these are little grains of rice. Look at this. What intricate detail. And I have a follow-up question. How do we get it off? <laughs> but then you look out the window here and right outside we have this like hot tub jacuzzi kind of thing. Jordan is chillaxing. And I'm gonna give you a little taste of the view that we have. Pretty incredible. Huge TV that we can watch from the bed. Then come out over here is the bathroom. We have a very luxurious looking shower. 
two sinks, so we have our own private sinks we can use. Um, two bathrooms. Is this like a bidet situation? I've seen this before in Europe, but I've honestly never understood what I'm supposed to do. Do you go and then do a little splashy splash to freshen up or... <laughs> Here's another sink though as well. And then this, this takes you right back to where we started, where I forgot to mention, there is a mini bar, some water bottles, sodas, and beer. Very nice, all included. Now let's join Jordan out on the patio. Oh, hey. Hi. I have a nice garden, pool, and ocean view all in one out here. This might be the best view we've ever had, ever. Look who it is! We got the amigos, we can smile on them, <laughs> Just FYI, to avoid a nasty sunburn, it's best to stay in the shade from about 12 to 3 p.m. or lather up in sunscreen and use a UPF shirt like the ones that you see us wearing in, in our videos plus a hat, literally cover up as much as you can. It's worth noting that the second largest barrier reef in the world is right offshore here in Puerto Morelos. So if you're putting on sunscreen and planning on going into the ocean, it's best to use reef safe sunscreen. The most popular sunscreen brands have chemicals that can damage the reef. This is nice. And what's behind me? My favorite thing, swim up bar. <laughs> they even have hammocks. I've never been on a hammock above a pool with an ocean view. Well, now we're hanging out at the pool and we're all together and salute to that. This is such a fun time. Salute. Yes. This is literally paradise right now. Good friends, good times, and an amazing view for sure. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. You have an infinity edge pool, set your drink up right here. A view of the ocean. I think this is my first infinity pool ever. Really? Really? I've never, been in it. Wow. I've never experienced an infinity pool, so. And both yeah. sides have it here. That's what's cool. Yeah. That you have infinity pool on both sides. So this is the, what is it called? So Premier? this is the pre preferred, preferred side. Preferred. Preferred. Yeah, it's yeah. like the quieter pool. You know, they have like the music and stuff at the other one. That's oh. my friend table. Oh. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> For our first dinner here at Now Jade, we're at this Italian restaurant called Capers. Guess who is back? Back again. Normally, it's a choose your own adventure sort of situation when it comes to dining, but they prepared a five course meal for us where basically every dish they brought out was a surprise. First up was a fancy looking bruschetta appetizer. To accommodate my allergies, they made two savory dips with gluten free flatbread. So they brought out the next course, it's a salad. Alrighty, and now for our third course, they brought out a soup and then a consomme for Maddie. Oh, it's soup. Oh, I've never seen soup served like that. Mmm, that's good. Uh, so this time we have a filet mignon wrapped in bacon. Mmm. It's good, huh? That is amazing. Yeah. Now we're on to the fifth course of the night. My dessert is tiramisu. There's a lot of little details that they just don't miss at this resort. A lot of things they do to go above and beyond. Check this out. I'm going to show you what they did for us. Earlier, they had a design with rice all over the bed. Well, they cleaned that up and then they folded the comforter back to get us ready for bed. And also over here, we got more chocolate covered strawberries and champagne. <laughs> you ruined my shot, but okay. <laughs> I ruined your shot? <laughs> Are you getting ready for the bathtub? If I don't ruin it. <laughs> right behind me here, we have our balcony jacuzzi filling up with water and we're about to get in for a midnight swim.
that bed was super comfortable and I slept like a baby last night. It was amazing. And now it's a rainy morning here in the Riviera Maya. This weird like wet stuff is falling out of the sky. I like it. Also, as you can see, my hair is wet. Took a shower, we're getting ready this morning. The shower, also incredible. Basically everything about this room is amazing. I love this room. It's not only big, but there's a lot of details about it, like really high quality uh, conditioner and like body wash mm -hmm. and stuff in the shower. ¿Cómo están? Bien, gracias, ¿y usted? Muy bien, gracias. Con un poco de frío. Ah. ¿Está bien acá? Sí. sí. Con la lluvia. Ah, sí. Está lloviendo mucho. Sí. Habla muy bien español. Ah, estamos aprendiendo. Oh, excelente. Gracias. Pasa, buen día. Gracias. Ah, gracias, señor. Buen día. Buen día. This is so cool, getting room service, oh my gosh. Okay, so I got an American breakfast because, well, that was just some eggs, bacon, we got a fruit plate, you got an eggs benedict over there. I'm excited to have room service, but to be honest, this doesn't look the most appetizing ever. I am sad to report my room service was just not good. Yeah, mine was average, you know, eggs on a plate. <laughs> but the good news is it's all inclusive, so now we're going to the buffet. But first, we're gonna stop by this cafe here and grab a coffee. Algo más chicos, que les puedo ayudar? No. Que tengan un excelente día, es un placer. Hola. 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 ¿Cómo están? Bien. So far, this looks like a big step up from room service. I went to the crepe station and got a crepe with peanut butter, and then to the taco station and got cochinita tacos. So you never quite know what type of food you're going to get at a buffet, but we were pleasantly surprised at the quality and variety of food they offered at this one. All right, so after a second breakfast, I am officially stuffed. That was good, I like the buffet. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for now. This is this nap weather for me. Maybe we can go check on Alaska. Yeah, we're gonna go check on Alaska first. <laughs> Dog. Hi! We're back temporarily! Hi! Hi! Oh yes, your ears are way back. Oh yeah. You're so happy to see me. So happy! Good girl. Good girl! Oh, thank you for the kisses! Oh, she's so happy! We just went back to our apartment to take Laska for a little waquito, give her some food and water and some lovin's, and now we're here back at the resort. And now we just have to figure out what to do on a rainy day. You better believe this video is not over yet, but we hope you're enjoying it so far. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos about Mexico and some tangerine style shenanigans. Oh my lord. <laughs> So Jordan went to go get his free 20 minute massage that comes with us, I think for being preferred, we get that. And I'm here in the buffet again to get a little snacky snack. <laughs> I got these tacos de barbacoa. Oh my gosh, so, so good. I'm gonna have to get at least like 40 more of them. All this rain that you're seeing here is courtesy of Hurricane Laura. <laughs> but thankfully we did not take any type of a direct hit. We're just getting a lot of rain. And it is just about time for my massage appointment. I'm excited. This is going to be nice. Dang, it is really raining now. It is really raining. <laughs> but that felt good. She worked on some knots that I had and gave me a nice head and neck massage. And yeah. Got a little bit of back. And the fact that it was up there on the fourth floor looking out at the ocean, that was really cool. Even just to see the storm, what it looks like right now, looks cool. Yeah, they've re actually relocated the spa to be in like a huge suite up there. Uh -huh. I forgot to mention this. Bien, yeah, gracias. Uh -huh. Bienvenidos. Gracias. Okay. Uh -huh. Oye, ah, sí. Don Julio Repesado con jugo de naranja. Sí. Y para mí, uh, Don Julio Repesado, Grand Marnier. Un poquito de jugo de naranja y agua mineral. Para tomar aquí o para llevar? Para, para llevar, llevar, por favor. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, so I forgot to mention this in the spa. They make you fill out a little thing first before your massage. And one of the questions is, are you under the influence of alcohol? And I was like, uh, 
What do I put? Am I allowed to say yes? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Um, this is an all-inclusive. I feel like that should just be checked <laughs> off the bat. <laughs> But anyway, we're here in the preferred lounge once again to get a little drinky drink and take you back to the room. I think this has got to be the most perfect day that we could possibly ever do this. It's like rainy and cloudy outside and we've got this great hot tub. And we hop right outside here, oh, right into hot. the tub. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. And yeah, look at this. It's all stormy out and the wind and the rain. So definitely gotta get in this hot tub action. Looking around at the other people's hot tubs, I see that this is a very popular activity right now. So we're not in the hurricane right now, it's quite a ways away from us, but we're still getting rain from it. Even though it's a rainy day and maybe not optimal for a Riviera Maya vacation, having a tub on the balcony for a day like this is amazing. This is perfect. We've had some people ask us in previous videos saying, oh yeah, I'd love to come to the area, but I'm pretty sure I can't fly to another country right now. And you actually can. You can, you can fly to Mexico. There's lots of people coming here, not only from the U.S., but from other countries as well. Mm -hmm. And there's people coming into the Cancun airport every single day. Most of the guests here at this resort are doing just that. Yeah, we also get another question, which is when you come to Mexico, are you required to quarantine for 14 days or do any type of special anything once you get here? And the answer is no. There's no quarantining that you have to do. There's nothing that's mandatory except in some places wearing masks in public is yeah. required. At the resorts though, it seems, especially here at Now Jade, it's very strongly suggested that the guests mm -hmm. wear them. But by and large, I'd say most people are not. Yeah. All the employees are though. Mm -hmm. That's they, They're very good about that. Something you probably can expect is just to feel like there's a little bit more being done in terms of COVID precautions all over the place. But to be honest, it doesn't feel super intrusive. No, it, no, it doesn't. It just kind of feels like something you gotta do. Like washing your hands after going to the bathroom. You just do it. <laughs> okay, so we're here with our good buddy Trish. Trish from Matrix Advisor. <laughs> She makes videos in this area and she lives in Puerto Morelos as well. So if you want to see more videos about resorts and about things to do in this area, go check out her channel, My Trish Advisor, on YouTube. Yes. Thank you, Tangerine Travel. Definitely <laughs> subscribe to her channel. We were wanting to bring her in to talk about the situation here at Now Jade and kind of what the differences are, do you think, between before COVID and now and maybe what people would expect or their precautions, anything like that? Yeah, because Trish has a unique experience because she's worked here at this resort yeah. and you've stayed here in non-COVID times as well. Yes, exactly. So, um, first off, thanks for having me. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I really like to mention about all this is that even though you're traveling during coronavirus pandemic and it seems also scary, the precautions that they're taking here, number one, I feel like they're taking a lot, but it doesn't feel like so invasive. Yeah, you know? I felt that too. Yeah, you don't feel like you're like overwhelmed with all these like restrictions. Uh -huh. I don't know if you guys yeah, I get totally that. agree. So it's kind of hard to see all the things that they do because I feel like they do a lot, but it's not behind the scenes. It's kind of behind the mm -hmm. scenes. Yeah. Which is exactly what you're saying with it not being invasive. Yes. It's, there's so much that's going on that's kind of in incognito mode. Mm -hmm. I so. do feel like this resort is taking more precautions than mm -hmm. that other resort we yeah. stayed at was. I agree. And they're mm -hmm. obviously doing a lot more intensive housekeeping mm -hmm. and uh, more steps to make sure everything's sanitized. Even while we've been here in the lobby, we've seen a girl going around like wiping down all the couches and spraying all the tables. Them with something. She's spraying them and then wiping them down. So again, I think it's just like a cycle that they go through and they see people sitting. And even I saw in the loungers yesterday after people get up, they're spraying them down, sanitizing them. Mm -hmm. And that's the AM Resorts brands. Like yeah. they're all uh -huh. pretty much doing the same thing. Yeah. I, I stayed at now Sapphire and they're doing very yeah. similar things. It seems like they have a really high standard. A lot of people told me when they saw my video about Nass Sapphire is like, we feel safer going to a resort than yeah. we do like even going to a restaurant in the States, you uh -huh. know, because a lot of people uh -huh. are not taking those precautions. Exactly. Cool. Well, thank you for your input. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Something else about this resort during COVID times is they're legally only allowed to operate at 30% capacity, a max of 30% capacity. Mm -hmm. So that means when you're around the resort, it's generally pretty empty. You 
usually don't even have to try to social distance because there just aren't that many people around. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure that they've spaced out tables and chairs and things as well, so you don't have to think about it too much to not be around people. Another big question you probably have if you're anything like us is with the ever-present uh, coronavirus right now, the pandemic is not going away, what if you get here and you have it or you um, are presenting with a fever or something like that mm -hmm. because they are taking these temperature checks? Um, well, first thing to consider is that you would likely not even make it as far as the resort if you had a, a fever because they're taking them at the airports and mm -hmm. uh, transfer vans and everywhere else. You would have had it taken many times before you got here. But if you do happen to get to the re resort and then you're showing a fever, you're popping a fever, mm -hmm. They will still allow you to stay here. They're not going to kick you out. They're not going to send you home. At least here now, Jade, we asked. And, and they clarified that they have a couple special coronavirus rooms, uh, basically where they would quarantine you. They would bring a doctor in to assess your symptoms. They actually have a doctor who lives here on site, on site. and is here 24 hours a day. So if you walk in and you, the first thing you do is you get your temperature scan. And if it's too high, then you go to another check-in area to check in before you're seen by a doctor. Mm -hmm. Then if the doctor says, yes, these are COVID symptoms, they will administer a test for you. All the while, you're allowed to stay at the resort in these special rooms, which are kind of like away from the others, but you have to be in the room, but they're not gonna kick you out and they will offer a special rate, actually. So you can If you need to stay longer than you your initial stay. booking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time for another dinner. Din Din at Sin Sin. Okay, yeah, nervous. exactly. Hold on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got all the cameras on. Does everybody got their phone? Everyone got their camera. Hold the camera, hold the camera. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Delicious. So good. Mm. <laughs> What'd you get, Maddie? I got a pollo al limon. Is it so decent? Good. From the appetizer to the main dish to the dessert, they even brought out a gluten-free cheesecake for me, which wasn't even on the menu. And we have live music here. We had this live tonight. music going on. Um, special, special kudos to Now Jade and all of the employees for just going above and beyond to take care of my allergies. I never had to worry about getting anything that had anything I was allergic to, which was yeah. a huge, huge relief. And kudos to the employees, not just at the restaurants, but at the resort, on the resort as a whole. Yeah, just everyone. everyone. Has been great. We just got back to the room and it looks like they turned down the bed again so it looks amazing and they even conveniently put the remote right here which is perfect because I kind of want to watch a movie. I'm exhausted and they left one lamp on so that we could find our way to the bed. This place is awesome. I love everything about it. And Laska is nice and tucked in at our apartment. We went back and gave her some food and water, took her for a little waquito again. Uh, is there anything else? I don't know. Is it time for bed? It's time for bed. Good morning, everyone. On our last day, we decided to enjoy the preferred pool one more time. The swim up bar, coupled with the relaxing overwater hammocks, never failed to make the day even better. Gracias. <laughs> what you doing over there? <laughs> Drying off the bill. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of swimming up to the bar and ordering Gracias. a drink. This is uh, awesome. Cheers. The bartender's trying to get us drunk. We poured these straws. Like this much, Don Julio. This much. I'm not complaining. I mean, I kind of am, but that, no, I'm not complaining. It's just a lot of tequila. He's <laughs> not a complaint. It's just like, whoa. One thing we kind of had to do off and on throughout this trip was go cool off back in the room with the air conditioning, which was so nice, it felt so good, mm -hmm. and watch a little bit of Netflix. If you're anything like us, we have our guilty pleasure shows that we like watching. For me, it's Shameless, and that's not available on Mexico Netflix. So a little trick that we found was to get a VPN, you locate yourself in the US, and then boom, the whole library of US Netflix is available to you. <laughs> yeah, our favorite VPN can be found at Tangerine VPN. Com. We're an affiliate for this company, so if you go to that website, that'll take you straight to our affiliate link and use the code TANGERINE for three extra months free. We decided to pop into Coco Cafe for a midday snack. Look at this adorable little cheesecake, gluten-free 
cheesecake and I'm getting a cafe descafeinado, a decaf uh, latte so that I'm not up for years and years and years after this. This is, this is so great, just like a little tiny bite and a little tiny cafe. I realize I said little tiny cafe. I have no idea the size of this coffee. I don't know, this latte could be gigantic for all I know. <laughs> As it turns out, it's a three bear situation. It's not too big, not too small, just right. The size is just right. <laughs> for this resort, for now, Jade, we talked to Trisha, our friend Trisha, my Trisha advisor that she was in the video earlier. She will give you the hookup and on booking like the whole shebang, transport, airfare, mm -hmm. uh, the hotel, all of that. And all you have to do is email her at mytrishadvisor at gmail.com with the subject line tangerine. So she will give you that hookup and set you all up with everything. By the way, guys, if you're hoping to learn more about all-inclusive resorts, especially in this area, we recently made a few videos one of which we're going to link on the end screen here in just a moment which is what not to do when going to an all-inclusive resort and please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this one because we're gonna be making a lot more in this region coming up hurricane style Jordan do it hurricane style <laughs> that bell still be the first to be notified whenever we release a new video <laughs> and we'll see you soon